how do you do these things and not be an abuser? Why are we not calling them abusers? Anybody that has to manipulate another person so that they cannot leave is an abuser. I think what's happened is that we've normalized this behavior. We've normalized the fact that they say things like, you know, I'm just jealous or I just care about you so much or, you know, who wants to think about another man being around their woman. We've normalized that type of thing and we've accepted these behaviors, but they are in fact abusive. I mean, think about it. Have you ever dated a man and just wanted to hang out or just wanted to kind of get to know him? And then before you know it, this man is trying to lock you down into a relationship, not necessarily with the titles, because we all have ran across those men that will not put a title on anything if you twisted his arm to. But, you know, he's checking your temperature every day, singing those good morning texts and those good night texts. And those are things that we think are cute. But what they're really doing is they're checking you. They're trying to make sure that nobody else is there. That's why at the beginning, they want to spend so much time with you so fast if they like you. Now, if they don't like you, it's a whole nother different story. They're trying to get away from you. But when they like you, they try to rush strings along because they know that at a certain point, if you get attached, then it's going to be harder for you to walk away when you start seeing those red flags. So they subtly kind of employ these tactics until they get you to a point where it is that you cannot leave. And then it becomes more noticeable and you realize, wait a minute, <laughs> this is abuse. See, all that stuff you thought was cute in the beginning was just him gearing up to further isolate you further gaslight you and control you. There's a lot of women that complain that after, you know, the honeymoon period or after the first few months that all of a sudden, you know, he's, he stopped spending time. He's not calling as much. He's not texting as much. It's because he feels like he really doesn't have to, because what he's done is he's locked you down with that boyfriend, girlfriend title, or he's locked you down with those actions that continuously allow him to know how to pinpoint you or where to put his finger on you at all times. So now, even though you may be in a situation where your needs are not met, there's red flags everywhere, and you're entering into maybe a more abusive um, period of that relationship, you're pot committed either mentally, physically, because, you know, you got babies by him or, you know, um, uh, through legal terms, marriage. Or maybe financially, you just can't do it alone because now you're spending more time doing free labor than it was at your career. Your career is taking a back seat to the relationship. It's abuse. 